Hello everyone, welcome back to my Juno New Origins career. This time I am actually streaming my attempts live on Twitch. We are going to proceed with our uh, Brigo flyby. I don't know, we already did a Brigo flyby, though it was sloppy, I'll give it that. Uh, maybe we should do a more accurate Brigo flyby. But then we have Brigo orbit, so we might as well do both. We'll pick up the Brigo flyby, we'll pick up the Brigo orbit. And we'll try both, and let, let's see if we can spruce this rocket up a bit. I think I want more batteries and solar panels or something for power. I uh, Did we unlock the batteries yet? Maybe not, let me just see. Battery. Oh, it's a fuel type. Battery's a fuel type. That's why. Okay. So then, and it said command disk battery. 100%. Volume for battery, okay. So we can add more battery power here. Um, it adds a lot more cost to that and it reduces volume for gyros. Well, we've got the volume, so we'll just max out what we can get in it. Nighttime launch. I think this is our first nighttime launch here. Okay. Launch. Well, it's no, not nice when it's dark, though. Maybe I should just wait until daylight. And staging. No surprises. Though, we might have less Delta V now because I put all the extra battery in. I didn't really check the mass of that. So, apparently... Uh, Pedro told me in the comments that I had somehow turned off uh, plant or plant icons. Let's just get all the icons. Well, maybe not craft icons. Okay. I think it was the plant icons that I needed. Once we have a payload, we'll uh, decouple the fairing. But right now, it's sort of simulating the payload mass. Yeah. I wish they would tell us to carry a payload or something, but... Okay, that'll be good enough for now. I don't know, I've got the plant icons on and I still can't click on it. I thought uh, we were supposed to be able to click on it to get information. Mm, I'm clicking... That's that's Luna, though. We want Brigo anyway. So, Brigo, here. I don't... No, I don't see their orbit info when I click on it. Le left click, right click, middle click. Mm, nothing. Well, that works. <laughs> I don't mind that. That's fine by me. That That's straight in there. Uh, that's not overburning that- I guess Rigo's orbit is very fast, so... Um, it'll reach there much quicker than I thought. I thought it'd only go about this much, but it gets all the way over there in this amount of time. Burn, uh, burn time 87 seconds. So, rough estimate, I'm going to do, uh, 50 seconds ahead of time and 37 seconds after the node. Okay. Pre prevents it from being updated. Okay, that's probably important. All right, let me point at the node. But it says burn time not available now. <laughs> but okay, I guess it's better than nothing. We have much less delta V this time. I think I made the battery too big. In theory, we're encountering Brigo there. It looks like we're encountering Brigo. Please let be a low. I think. That seems like a low... Oh, sorry, paused. Okay, well, 170 kilometers. I think that's okay. Let's let's try and plot the retro burn. Well, that says 290 meters per second, and that's still a little bit high there. We should have had, like, dumpable batteries, like Electron or something. Um... <laughs> Let me see, uh, staging. Well, let's try staging the fairing and see if we get the balance. I mean, we're talking about 295, we have 213. I don't think it's gonna give us that much, but... Oh, it was close! 273. Hmm... 
Uh, maybe if we get closer to Brigo, it'll work. I mean, we might as well try. So, reel in. Um, we have 243 now after that real burn, and we need 257 to make orbit. Well, shucks. Well, we, we'll make a orbit. We're just not going to make a satisfactory orbit this time. Just a little bit of a lighter battery would have worked. Uh, we, we didn't really capture. <laughs> uh, wait, did we capture too much? I don't understand. No, this is just a maneuver. We, we didn't capture. Okay. So let's just end flight here. And we got one contract done. Yeah, and the money awarded was like a hundred times the launch cost, so that's nice. So right now we have 6.15 kilometers per second. I just, maybe we can get another contract. We really weren't that short on Delta V, but let's see if, let's save craft. This has been a good rocket for us. I guess we can do this on the way to Brigo. I mean, we could have that orbit and then, because it doesn't have any specificity. We could even dump a CubeSat out with this orbit, but no, I don't think we can. It'll be tougher to do this orbit and this orbit. This one pays more, even though this one requires us to carry a CubeSat, so... Okay, I'm gonna accept this one, and we'll try and do this one as well. Okay. I usually take longer to install stuff, but... Okay, so... We will launch this again, and we'll try to keep all that stuff in mind. Sunrise in the mountains. Throttle up. And... launch. Okay, well, it likes that periapsis anyway. I don't think our apoapsis is in the right place, though. UI verbosity. High, maybe. Well, that, that leaves those things up. That's nice. So, actually, let's, uh, let's circularize first. Desperate times call for desperate measures here. We really have to overdo it, though. Okay. And hopefully Luna won't interfere. And... Ignition. Okay. Holding. Okay. Continuing. <laughs> Don't tell them. Oh, it's going too far. Okay, get rid of that. That looks fine for now. How much do we have left? 347. So we're a little bit too far out. That's not great. We're also in a polar orbit, which is funny. If we just did it right now. That's just crazy. Okay, so let's just do the radial in. I don't think we have enough Delta V for orbit again. Ah. Uh, okay, fine. Let me just crash this thing. Bigger rocket? No. I'm very confident that we can get this done with this rocket. We just should pick up a separate contract. <laughs> Putting extra battery on has not been the most useful thing ever. Okay, well, I'm... Darn it, I'm gonna try this again. But, you know what? We'll just use a nose cone instead of payload fairing. Let's just simplify things. And that will give us more delta V. Seven! A whole seven kilometers per second. All right. And I think we're 
Okay, launch. Okay. Now uh, we're in a lopsided orbit here, but we will take it. Ah, ah, ah. That's Luna. That's okay. Great. There's a potential Luna interference. That's Brigo. Hmm. It doesn't have an outgoing orbit now, so maybe that's us crashing into it. I wanted to get it as close as possible, so we don't have to do the radio burn initially. I think maybe that's the theory I'll go for, but that's as close as I can get. Otherwise it'll crash into it, then that's why the subsequent orbit disappears. Oh, that's a bit off. Why didn't they have us do more missions to Luna? Getting to Luna is easier because it's got the big SOI. Oh, that's so far out. Yeah, I've done a whole lot of Brigo flybys. <laughs> I guess I, I want the tech points, so that's okay. But we're actually further out than I wanted to be. I thought we were going to get close to Brigo, but we're not. Okay, that suits me. We should have plenty. We've still got 663 meters per second left. Okay, oh. Eccentricity less than 0.1 M. What's M in this context? I forgot that the eccentricity was 0.1. I was focused on the apoapsis, but that's deceptive. We basically need to get into a low orbit. Okay, we got Brigo Orbit. Okay, save flight, save and exit. Okay. Luna flyby. We've already done a Luna flyby though. <laughs> um, we've already done a Brigo Orbit as well. Mm. Okay, let's say, take a look at our tech tree. This has new contracts and maybe... Maybe we should think about landing in places. That would require a larger rocket. I mean, I should try and get stuff that will lead to lead us to actually require a larger rocket. I think right now the problem is if we keep on going like this with the contracts that we have, we're never going to be required to get a larger rocket. So if they actually have a moon landing contract, then we need a bigger rocket. So we'll try that. Let's see. Brigo landing. Well, what was with them in Brigo? But okay. Touchdown safely, hold for 30 seconds. Okay. I think we're gonna need a bigger rocket. To quote a quote. And this time, I will put fuel in the nose cone. In fact... In fact... Our lander will be the nose cone. <laughs> Aha! Oh, it's not cross-feeding through that. Shoot. Um... Oh, fuel line here. Um... Okay, well, let's let's fuel line this too. Additional fuel line. Um, more fuel line. Okay, well, I've uh, got fuel line activated here, here, and here. I'm not getting any delta V. I can't turn the cone into a fuel tank and have this core here. And the core is the core is the root part, and um, is there a way to change the root part? Can I change it to that cone instead and then add a little control core? Instead, add in a separate battery and separate gyro? 
take that off. But then it's still root part. Where I want this to go is not where it's going to end up. <laughs> um, I need to remove that in order to place that where I want it to go. Because right now... Oh, it can actually do that. Okay. No, you, you're right there. Okay, and I'm going to make you primary. You can go away. This is going to be a heck of an experiment, though. Oh, no. Uh... Now you're all confused. Okay. Do you have any idea how to make these spherical tanks? I need the center of mass for sure. Did we not have separate gyros? Ah, uh, well, maybe. Okay, fine. We we can do it this way. Hey, does that block? Yes, it... Uh, yeah, no, it doesn't. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Other idea. Off. Can we get to that other control core? So you go. Okay, now it's got Delta V. But is this problematic? Hmm... <laughs> Okay, uh, landing legs. Quick pivot. Does that look vaguely stable to you? I'm gonna have a second stage before the first stage. I mean, after the first stage, of course. I am going to... See what we can do with three stages and still keep this on the same pad. <laughs> uh, I'm very persistent about these things, aren't I? It's expensive, though. Eight kilometers per second. And we're still at under the 10 meter limit. And that is because of the funky way I've done this little lander here. By attaching the probe core. <laughs> after attaching the engine so that the engine has contact with the nose cone which has fuel inside. Hmm... But let's see, drew sea level 1.42. Stage 1. It's not cheating! We could have had a toroidal control core. I mean, the Saturn instrument unit is a toroidal control core. You can pass things through the middle of it. It's not my fault that they didn't have a part like that. Well, I'm gonna save this. We'll call it Gamma. Okay, let us launch. And it's not too bad, it's 883,000 for a lander on... Uh, what was that thing called again? Brigo. And we still get to use this little pad. I mean, it's a big difference. The village pad is 9,700 bucks. The Ali pad, which is the only one that we've got unlocked other than this, is 146,000. Oh, what's the issues? Needs batteries. But we have a battery. It's right here. Too many stages assigned. Okay, hold on. Oh, this does. Oh, 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 oh. We need to reevaluate. Uh, for some reason, it didn't come with any batteries or gyros. Hold on. Maybe the. Delta V figures were too optimistic. Well, let's just max out the gyros. Well, it isn't too bad. Okay. 7.65. I still think it's okay for landing. Fuel crossfeed, fuel transfer mode, normal. On the interstage. It's on the interstage. We don't really want it to happen on the interstage, though. Empty stage. Yes, let's get rid of that. Um, goblin motor. Inner stage. Landing legs. Let's actually add a stage. Oh, we don't. We, we have to unlock more stages in the tech tree. Okay. Uh, it's fine if all those happen at the same time, as long as the landing legs don't actually bump into the interstage. So, okay. 
Okay, so here we go. Landing on Brigo. Crawl up. Nav ball up. Ignition. Uh oh, 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 uh, it really doesn't have autopilot. Why? I, I added the, I added the, I added the thing, I added the thing. Oh gosh. Great. I added the power. It doesn't have automatic stabilization. Okay. Well, once again, uh, I wish I had it, but it's fine. It's fine. I can manually pilot things, sort of. Really? You don't? Yeah. Why did... <laughs> Why do you have to be like that game? <laughs> okay. Stage two. Uh, well, Brigo's just right there, so we're probably gonna have to go on to this side. All right. We will take that, once again, going all the way out and coming back in. Wait, how long is it? 48 seconds. But that's probably just with this stage. This stage only has 15 seconds, so it might not be reading the burn time right. Okay, just in case we'll go now. Okay, that's that stage. Let's monitor staging. Okay, looks like it's safe. The like, legs extended without getting hurt. Oh yeah. The burn's gonna take longer than it expected. Okay, let me try and get this right. We're way past where we should have been. Oh, well, we have an encounter. We'll see what happens. That is really far away. Real in, real in. How much delta V do we have? 1.59 kilometers. Well, now we're getting a little bit tight here with this radial burn. I was hoping to be, get, be a lot closer. You know what? Maybe it'd be better just to capture her first. Let me see. I don't know what kind of landing Delta V we need for Brigo. I think this is not good though. Well, 1.54. I thought it was 1.3. Maybe then. Well, let's see. I mean, now we're in for it now anyway. Either I did it. I don't think the radial burn was going very well for us, so... We'll just take this spurn. We can probably cheat. I mean, we can lithal break. Lithal break's not cheating, right? Oh, that's already impact ready here. Okay. Um. Our surface velocity is 273, our stage LTV is 510. Here we go. Stage burn time is 52 seconds. That's 1.7 minutes arrival time right there. Okay. Ignition. Ah, uh, probably too soon. Will litho breaking work? Uh, it didn't work. <laughs> Again, uh, I won't do retry. I'll accept the uh, failure. Feel like 
This stage needed a little bit more. I think it's time to go fatter. How big is that? Oh, well, one meter would be nice. One meter would be nice. One, one meter. Mm, grid, si grid size is already zero. It doesn't go negative. I can't make any more fine tune. One. It's either 0.99. Okay, well, maybe if I increased grid size. No! Okay, okay, maybe if I decrease it and get it to a factor of 5. Okay, now increase. <sighs> okay, we can't go above 10 meters. I'm still keeping it to that. 7.96 kilometers per second. And I don't know, maybe we can dump some gyros. Battery, we need it all, the battery we've got. What we really need is to get close to Brigo, right? The problem was we were too far away, and that was not good. Um, we need to be able to know that we're getting closer, and I haven't figured that out yet. How, how do I know what my periapsis is going to be around Brigo? It doesn't want to show me. I'm going to... Try and restart the game quickly. And see if that helps. Maybe maybe it'll resolve this little issue I have with the planetary information not showing up and not being able to target the planets and all that business. So let's go with that theory. Too tall, it's 10.03 meters. Ah, uh, well. Take that. <laughs> Take that, game. All right. File up. Uh, let's see. Can I click on something and target? No. Wait, I, I can double click. Oh, wait. It's target. It's it's Brigo now. It worked, sort of. Okay, so it's like that. Oh yeah, it's jumping around and everything. It's frisky even. Um. Hmm. It just needed a restart. Go figure. You need to turn on the player I uh, planet icons and then restart the game maybe. And launch. Oh no, it's still got the no control thing. Why is it starting out without any control now? Now, I've clicked on it and we're getting information on it. Set as current target, there we go. We see it's apoapsis and periapsis, but I don't see my nodes with respect to it. Which is what I need right now. Select player. Okay, well that's good. I still don't see my ascending and descending node with respect to it. I'm still gonna have to eyeball it. Can we get there quickly enough so that we don't have to go over to the other side this time? I don't know. Oh, I think we've got something. Okay, so that, that that's enough of a gap. That's that's our periapsis with it. Okay. No, I need to. I really need to get that much closer. No, no, I don't want this. This this does not need to exist. Come on, hey. no, go away. <laughs> That X is supposed to kill it, right? I don't I don't understand what has happened. I've got a burn here. That's the burn I want. And then there's this thing here. Okay, maybe... That's not working. Okay. 
ignition. I'm a little bit late there. Okay. And stage. Okay, so now what does it claim here? Maybe a mid-course adjustment would work? I hope I'm understanding what it says correctly. 24 meters per second. Probably worth it. This time we're not going so far out beyond Brigo's orbit, so we're probably not going to take as much battery. Oh, paused. Okay, please let that be close to Brigo this time. We've made a mid-course correction and everything. What? This thing, I swear I deleted whatever this is. Better... Yes, whatever you are, I tried to delete you a hundred times. Now, okay, well, at least we've got our periapsis. Okay, retro. And not paused. No, oh, it's a little flaggy thing there. I guess we'll try and land in that crater. Um, so we need to go east, right? Okay, so we will try to land at that flag. This may be overly ambitious. And... Oh, oh no, I don't want you to lock that yet, I'm still working on it. I don't know what that flag is. And we're already past the note. Um, let's let, quickly... Oh, shoot! What are you doing? No! What did it do just now? Oh. Get rid of that. Oh, it's got a little highlighted thingy. Maybe that's where we have to land? Or maybe that's just... Well, or I, I guess that's where we ought to land. Are we in the zone? Well, we're, we're in this place here now. It's possible this was meant to be a later contract. Totally abusing the infinite throttle range. Yeah, we've got too much thrust, darn it. There's a slope. There's a big slope. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay. It happened again. But Mimas Crater. That's supposed to be for Mimas, though. It's fine. It's okay. This is allowed. Deepest point. Lowest point in the large crater is that much deep. Can you find it and visit it? Exceeding zero. What does it mean exceeding zero? Well, uh, we're getting all the tech points now. Hold on. Does it does it do reaction wheels the way 
Hold on, don't lock. Come on. Hold on. Uh, can we toggle landing gear again? Can it be brought up? Maybe not. Regal landing. It said something. It wants us to go deeper. No, no, the other way. Come on. Oh, shoot. Come on. Come on. The, the landing gear is in the way. No activation groups. Gosh. Yeah, I can't. I can't get it to go to the bottom. All right, all right. In flight. Safe flight. All right, we now have 1.17 billion dollars in this career. And our rocket just now was about a million. Well, let's see about the tech tree. Let's see about the tech tree. Billion. One billion. So basically we could launch the rocket that we just launched a thousand times. <laughs> okay, so um, 245. Well, this has more contracts. Landing gear size increases. New contracts. That's a thing. I probably... Crew limit. We probably need more stages though, because we, we were hitting the stage limit. But then this has solar panels, which would be nice. OP leaf blowers has more contracts. I mean, we've sort of got the landing bug, so landing harder might be a thing. Let's just get that. Max stage is five. And side inner stage. Alright. 